Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rojas and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based out of New York City. Today we're going to be discussing a retouching tool that many photographers aren't aware of, and that's the Mixer Brush tool. The Mixer Brush tool is a paintbrush tool that replicates the wetness and load that you'd find with a real paintbrush, and digital painters use it to help blend colors together. When retouching, we can use that same tool as an alternative to blending a general area which allows us to be much more precise with our changes. Also note that before we begin, I will be working on a black and white image just to make it a bit easier to see the changes that are happening compared to that of a color image. The same technique is still applicable when editing a color image. So let's begin. To access the Mixer Brush tool, head over to your brush tool and click on it to see the other available tools you have. You'll want to select the last option called the Mixer Brush tool. Now, the Mixer Brush tool will help you blend colors together, and the way that you do that will depend entirely on your settings and what your base color is. For example, if your base color is white, the colors that you're trying to blend will favor the lighter colors of an area that you're editing. If your base color is black, then your blend will favor the darker colors in that area. Grays will favor midtones in that area, etc. From here, you're going to look at your toolbar menu that shows the different wetness, load, mixture, and flow of your brush. Each of these options directly influences the way that your brush interacts with your image. To keep things simple, I'm going to break those down in a separate video. For the purposes of this tutorial, just replicate my settings and adjust as you see fit. Our first step in this process is to use frequency separation to separate the details of the skin from the color. This will help us retain natural skin texture and solely work on skin blemishes. If you don't know how to perform frequency separation, that's okay. I have a separate tutorial on how to do so, and I'll put that in the link in the description area of this video. I also have a couple of free retouching actions available on my site, and I'll leave that in the description as well. From here, we're going to be working on the blur or color layer, depending on how you name your layers. At this point, we're going to start looking for imperfections in the skin tones, areas that have several different skin tones within the same area. Think of this technique like a blending brush if you were doing makeup. Again, to remove lighter blemishes, we want to be sure that our brush color is set to black. And to remove darker colors, we want to be sure that our brush is set to white. Alternating between these two brushes, I can start navigating around my photograph and start strategically removing inconsistencies in skin color around the image. The trick here is not to go overboard with your edits. Subtle changes can make a huge difference, while drastic changes will start turning your image from a portrait to an illustration. I'd also recommend using a Wacom tablet for those of you that prefer extra precision in editing your portraits. And that's it. I think that this is a great alternative to running a general blur on the layers you're trying to remove. Again, subtle changes will go a long way with this technique, but I hope that you find it useful in your editing process. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.